Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooklyn if you're new here and I'm finally sitting down to film one of the most requested videos on my channel. It is my updated pumping routine, how I pump with hackas, what's in my pumping bag, my nursing slash pumping routine with Emmett. Basically, I'm just gonna cover everything. So this is probably going to be a pretty long video. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that you can go down in the description box and shop everything I'm going to mention in this video through one link. I'll have it listed as shop our favorites here. I spent a lot of time putting together different categories for you guys to just click on and be able to shop everything. So. You'll click on that one link and it'll take you to an Amazon storefront and then you can just click on the breastfeeding essentials um, section, I believe that's what it's called, and then it will show you everything. So that is an easy way to get to all the products that I'm gonna mention in this video. I'm gonna start by letting you guys know a little background about me, just in case you are new here. I am a first time mom to a almost six month old little boy, Emmett. I also work full time. I work a nine to five job as a hedge fund accountant and I am married to David. My husband is a surgical trauma ICU nurse. He works weekend option nights. So basically I work full time during the week and he works full time night shift on the weekend. So um, David is able to be home with Emmett two days or three days during the week and then he goes to daycare two days a week and then I'm home with him full time on the weekends. Emmett has been exclusively breastfed since he was born. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology since he does get bottles. I'm not like clear on exactly how I'm supposed to say that. Basically, he has only had breast milk, um, whether it be from me or from bottles his entire life. Um, so I did take a 12 week maternity leave and I did make a really long video. It was a Q and A um, pumping video on my channel. While I was on maternity leave, I will have that link down below. It literally has a ton of information and a lot of you guys found me through that video. So if I don't answer something in this one, then go check that one out because I answered a ton of questions. Um, so I have since been back to work for almost three months now. So I have a new little routine um, as far as pumping and nursing and everything kind of goes. So that's what we're going to get into. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video. I'm going to start by answering the most asked question on my channel and that is how I pump with the hackas. So these are the hackas and if you're not aware of what these things are then like I said go check out my last video because I went in a lot of depth about them but basically they can attach to the opposite breast that you are nursing on and catch your letdown so i started using these when i brought him at home from the hospital and i would nurse him on one side he only eats on one side um, through an entire feed and i would catch letdown on the other so basically i was tricking my body into thinking that i was feeding two babies if you're going to be successful with the hackas, with building a stash, um, you have got to start using them from the beginning. You have got to let your body know that you want to make more milk in order to like stash away or whatever. Um, and if you start to notice like an oversupply that's just like way too much, then cut back on using the hackas. Just use them like as you feel needed. That's kind of what I did and that's kind of what I explained in my last video. Now, as it was getting closer for me to go back to work and Emmett started sleeping longer stretches throughout the night, I started using these to pump. Um, a lot of people were really confused how I can use these to pump, but basically they're just like manual pumps. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use these. As far as attaching them, that was one other thing I wanted to cover. A lot of you guys commented that I was using it wrong, that I wasn't attaching it correctly. And I actually know how to attach it the correct way. It's to flip these flanges back, stick it on your breast, squeeze, and then pop it up. And it's supposed to stay on. I personally didn't find that to work any better for me. I rather just like stick it on and squeeze. I think it's personal preference for you, but um, that is the correct, correct 
way to do it is to flip that back, squeeze, and then flip it up. Um, as far as pumping goes, I don't think that that technique will ne necessarily work. So to stimulate letdown with two hackas, um, I stick them on and then basically all you need to do is just fast paced little squeezes. And this will stimulate your letdown. You'll have to do this for, I mean, as long as it takes for your letdown, but you attach it and then just fast, fast little squeezes. Once your milk starts flowing, then you can do one of those really deep squeezes and that will be like a constant stream of milk coming out. So what I do is um, I stimulate let down. Once the milk stops, starts flowing, I keep it, you know, squeezed until it stops. Once that stream stops, I will reattach it and re-squeeze. So I'm constantly like reattaching and re-squeezing so that the milk is just constantly flowing. Um, and then once I notice that the milk is, you know, constantly flowing, then I've pretty much gotten, or I've filled these up, then I've pretty much gotten everything I'm going to get in that session with the hackers. Um, that is one downside I found about using these is that I was filling them up pretty quickly and I wasn't able to get out as much milk because they were full. So these are about four ounce hackas, um, and you can get them bigger, but I just found them to be big and bulky. So these are the ones that I prefer. I pumped with these. This was like the only pumping system I used all the way up until I Emmett mean, was like four months old. The whole first month I was back at work, this is the only thing I pumped with were my hackers. Um, so that's how I pump with them. I loved this routine. It was super easy. I mean, I was pumping in 10 minutes. I was able to get as much as I would get on my electric pump in like 20. So um, if you hate electric pumps, this is definitely something I recommend and for sure recommend it for building a stash and catching let down on the opposite breast while you nurse. So these are like my number one breastfeeding must have and that is how I pump with them. Moving on to the next thing, my pumping nursing routine. So I nurse Emmett two times in the morning before I leave for work. I leave for work at about 8.30 a.m. and he eats twice before I leave. I get to work at nine and I pump between 10 and 11 a.m. And then I will pump again three hours later and then pump again two hours later. And then I'll come home, I'll feed Emmett as soon as I get home, uh, which is usually around 5.30. And then I will feed him again right before he goes to bed, which is usually around 7.30. So I nurse him a total of four times throughout the day and then I pump three times. Um, while I'm away from him at work and then once he's in bed I will pump one time before I go to sleep which is usually between 9 30 and 10 I pump one time and then I go to bed and I was doing a middle of the night pump session but I just recently winged off of that so I was doing another session anywhere between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Um, but like I said, I have not been doing that for like the past week and it's been glorious. So I just do one big pump session before I go to bed and then he wakes up again between 5 and 5.30 and I nurse him at that point. So um, I nurse a total of four times and pump a total of four times, including the one before bed. That is what our nursing pumping schedule looks like. On the weekends, however, I nurse him full time and I only do one pump sesh and that is right before I go to bed. I just pump to empty them out to basically get me to the morning whenever I nurse him. So um, that is my little routine. That is that. And like I said, I pumped with those the first full month I was back at work. I have, however, switched over to my Spectra now while I'm at work, and honestly, it's only for convenience. Um, like I mentioned, I do have to hold these the entire time I pump, so it was kind of annoying to have to sit there and hold them the entire time that I pump at work. 
and I kind of just wanted to be hands-free, especially if I needed to be doing something else. There have been several times where I've had to eat my lunch while I'm pumping or continue working while I'm pumping and I like need my hands. So for me, that's where my, my Spectre came into play and I needed to use my electric pump. Moving in to what's in my work pumping bag. So this has actually changed quite a few times because like I mentioned, um, I was pumping with just my hackas for the first month that I was at work. So um, basically I'll kind of show you like what's in my bag. I was using a backpack diaper bag, but I just recently switched to this, um, this big skip hop diaper bag this isn't like a pumping bag or anything i don't think i found this at tj maxx for like 25 dollars, i think but this is what i carry to work every single day now when i was pumping with my hackas i'll give you a rundown of everything that i took with me so obviously i took my two hackas and then um i was washing them between every pump session so we have a mother's room we have two rocking chairs a sink and a refrigerator in my mother's room so i was able to use the sink to wash them so what i found was really nice was this little boon travel kit and basically it has a drying rack it has um, a brush and a like nipple cleaner so i was taking this with me every day which was super nice it's like so compact and convenient and I would be able to wash my hackas and then um, sit them in here to dry until my next time that I needed to use them. So I would have my hackas and then this in my bag. And then I also have a dapple um, bottle soap wash. I also take a nursing cover in my bag. So this is the one that I use and it just goes on like this. And then I was able to get underneath it with my hands and work magic. I also always keep a um, fresh dish towel in my pumping bag just to like sit my parts on if like I set them down or to dry them off to clean them, whatever. I just always have a dish towel in there. And then I bring along these extra Medela bottles to store the milk in in the refrigerator and that was pretty much everything that i was using when i was using my hackas now things have changed the past two months my little routine at work has changed i no longer use my hackas at work i actually no longer use them to pump at night or in the middle of the night anymore either i feel like i'm at the point now it's where my supply is pretty regulated um and i'm pretty much just using the spectra um, and one other pump, which I'll mention, but now as far as my pump bag goes, I bring my trusty Spectra with me um, every day. And then I still have my dish towel that I keep in my bag along with my cover. I also use um, this little Medela pumping bra. This is so nice because this is how I do my hands-free pumping. So I just wear this while I pump with my cover on. Also inside of my pumping bag, I have a little baggie that has extra tubing and extra um, of these little duck valves uh, because I have gotten to work before and forgotten them. And then I've also gotten to work and one of them was ripped and didn't work. So I just keep extras in here now so that I never have to worry about not um, being able to use my pump. I also keep some of my Medela storage bags in here and I've gotten to where I immediately put them into the storage bags whenever I pump. That way I have less bottles to do at the end of the night because washing pump parts and bottles is like, Ugh, it's the worst so I keep that in here along with a little marker we give Emmett six ounces every two to two and a half hours so I store in six ounce bags right now um, and yeah I keep those in there I also have several different caps to my vanilla bottles in here 
And then I always keep a scrunchie because I want my hair to be back when I'm pumping so it's not falling down in the way. In the beginning, whenever I was using my pump, I would use, I have Q-tips and my mother loved nipple cream and I would just take this and basically lubricate the um, flange and it makes pumping way more comfortable. I did that in the beginning. I don't necessarily do that anymore just because it takes more time. I also have a little pouch and I keep some nursing pads in here um, just in case I forget them. And that's pretty much it as far as that stuff goes. I don't really bring this anymore just because I'm not washing them between pump sessions anymore. I bring them in a trusty Ziploc bag and I will store them in the Ziploc bag in the refrigerator between sessions at work and then I will just wash it when I get home so that way I don't have to spend like 10 minutes washing stuff at work. So I don't really take these two anymore. I do have a bottle of this at work, but I don't really use it. In the side pockets, I always bring extra bottles. So I usually bring um, two small Medela bottles and then an eight ounce Medela bottle. And since I'm storing the milk away now, I don't necessarily need those. I just usually bring one eight ounce. But I do make sure I have plenty of bottles because I've also gotten to work and completely forgot extra bottles to store away the milk that I pumped in. So um, make sure you have your bottles. Now one downside to the Spectra, um, I have the Spectra S2. One downside is you can't find pump parts as easily as you can for like the Medela pumps. Target does sell them, but it's like hit and miss if you're gonna find what you need. So I've just ordered like extra backup stuff off Amazon. And one thing that I was like struggling with was the fact that the spec, the bottles that you use have to be wide neck bottles. Um, and I only had the two Spectra um, bottles. I had a few Avent bottles, I think that's how you say it, but I ended up giving them to my best friend when she had her little girl. So. The only bottles I had were the two pumping bottles that came with it, but I just discovered an amazing, amazing product. So um, I found this little adapter that you can screw onto. I'm dripping water, these are still wet. Um, I found this little adapter that you can screw onto your flange and then onto a Medela bottle. Yeah, it's magical. So this can go onto the five ounce or the eight ounce bottles. And this is what I have been using now. I like love this so much more because I have so many of my Medela bottles. So I don't have to like have those bottles clean, the Spectra ones for these. So um, this is what I pump with. I actually had to go online and order some smaller um, shields flanges. I think that's what they're called. I really hope that's what they're called because that's what I've been calling them. <laughs> but I had to order some smaller ones. These are 21 mm's. I think the standard is 24. Most of them come with 24 or 28. The other ones were just too big for me and they weren't pumping efficiently. So that is one thing to check. Make sure that you have a good fit. Um, that way you're getting the most output that you can because let me tell you when I switched to these my output went up by an ounce or two ounces um, sometimes so This is what I pump with at work now and As far as output goes my first pump of the day is my biggest one. I get anywhere from seven to ten ounces um, most of the time it's between eight and nine um, so that's my biggest one. And then my second one, I'll get anywhere from six to seven ounces. And then my last one, I only get like four maybe. So your supply just naturally decreases throughout the day. Um, I've usually try to do my last pump at least three hours before I'm going to be feeding Emmett. That way I know that I have a sufficient amount of milk to give him whenever I do go to nurse him. So that's what that looks like for me. 
So like I said, I'll pump. I will store away six ounces in one of my um, storage bags and then I will put the remainder into a bottle. I will store my bottle, my bag of milk, and the my pump parts in the refrigerator. Then when I come in for my next pump, I would just grab these out of the refrigerator, pump, same process. Um, I bring everything home with me at night and I wash and clean everything and store everything away. As far as bringing my milk home, I have this little cooler that I got for free with like formula samples, I think. And I just bring an ice pack and this cooler and this is what I bring my milk home with every single day so i carry this as well also i usually pump anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes it really just depends if i feel like i'm still getting some or if i just want to cut it off early whatever i usually pump anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes usually my first pump session is between 15 and 20 so that's when i usually get the most and i think that's basically everything for like my pumping at work how that routine goes now, as far as when I come home, like I said, I nurse them at twice and then I will pump before I go to bed. So same process, I pump with my Spectra for anywhere from seven to 10 minutes before I go to bed and I usually get about five ounces, five to six ounces. Um, and that's basically just extra excess that I get to stash away at this point. Um, I did wean off my middle of the night feed. My middle of the night one, I would get anywhere from seven to eight ounces when I pumped. So I've weaned that one off. Another thing I want to mention though, is that it does get like super repetitive pumping with your electric pump and just pumping in general. It's just repetitive and it gets boring and it just is like a chore. So one thing that I have been doing here recently is kind of switching up how I do like my last pump at night. So like I said, I do mainly use my Spectra, Spectra but sometimes I will use my um, Medela Harmony pump and this is just the manual pump. So this is really nice. Like if we're watching TV or something, I could just sit on the couch and manually pump while I'm watching TV. I could use my Hackas. Um, I just haven't really reached for them recently. So you could use your Hackas as well if you have those. But overall, I either use one of the three. I also quickly want to mention I've had a ton of questions on like what I eat to keep my supply up or drink or like what I'm doing to keep a supply. I don't take any supplements. I literally take like a one vitamin a day and it's just like a multivitamin and I eat a very high carb diet. I do not like fruits or vegetables so I eat a lot of carbs. Here recently I have started drinking body armor and this is supposed to help with your supply just because it is like super hydrating. I don't necessarily know like everything about it that makes it increase your supply but I did notice when I got sick I had a small dip in my supply and this like brought me right back up and regulated me and honestly drinking water all day every day is just it, it gets boring and I want to drink something else so I usually drink one of these and I have noticed that these help to regulate and it honestly did boost my supply up a little bit so we buy these in like a big pack at Sam's Club and I drink one of these a day. Um, and then there are some milk makers, I think that's what they're called, cookies. They're from Target. I was eating those here and there. They're like lactation cookies, um, just as like a snack at work. I, like I mentioned, I am a hedge fund accountant and I went back to work right in the middle of busy season doing financial statements. So I was like really worried about going back to work and being super stressed and being away from Emmett and my supply dipping. So um, I had those on hand and honestly, like it, I was very stressed at work and none of it affected my supply at all. So if you're worried about that too, just, no, it, it can work out. It will be okay. You can get through it. Um, but I would eat some of those cookies. I didn't notice a huge difference with those though, to be honest with you. They just tasted good. Um, and I eat a lot of double stuffed Oreos. 
I mean, a lot of double stuffed Oreos. And I like jokingly said that that's the reason why I have such a good milk supply. And honestly, I mean, they are high carbs, so it might be high in fat. I don't know. It might be a reason that my milk supply is so good, but. And I did have someone message me and tell me that they eat a sleeve of Oreos a day now and it really did increase their milk supply. So I don't know. I eat a lot of double stuffed Oreos and um, a high carb diet. I do drink body armor. I drink a lot of water. Just know that I do have a little bit of an oversupply. So don't compare yourself to me. Um, I mean, if you if you don't have as big of an output as me, that's fine. Like that's totally fine. That doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. I have an oversupply, um, all of our bodies are just different. So just keep that in mind and don't beat yourself up about it. Uh, I do recommend the body armor. I know you can try brewer's yeast. Um, there are supplements. I just personally have never tried any of those. The last thing I'm gonna touch base on is how we got Emmett to take a bottle because I do get asked that a lot. Emmett uses the Comatomo bottles. He didn't have like a huge issue taking a bottle in the beginning. David did have to put one of my t-shirts on him so that Emmett could smell me and then he would take the bottle because honestly he associated me with food and if anyone else was holding him trying to give him a bottle, he was like, you're not my food source. So he was like really confused. Um, but that was just for a couple weeks and Emmett, you know, he adjusted and he realized that other people can feed him and he does perfectly fine with the bottle. But that is one suggestion that I do have is if your baby is struggling to take a bottle from someone else, then put your scent on them and trick them into thinking that it's you and they might actually take that bottle. Um, that's what worked for us. But other than that, we didn't really have a ton of issues. He has no problem going between the bottle and nursing. Um, honestly, I think Emmett prefers to nurse over the bottle. He, it's like a comfort thing for him. Um, so, yeah. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to touch base on. If I forgot anything or if you have any other questions, then you can comment down below and I will try to get back to you. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can go follow me over on Instagram to stay up to date with us and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.